Hello everyone, my name is Sunil and I would like to start a new screencast for an open source ERP called Odo. And we at Nescode implement and customize Odo for SME and a startup primarily into service, manufacturing, retail, real estate, education and healthcare sector. And this uh, Odo is primarily the version 13.0 which is the latest and the greatest version as on uh, date of the screencast and uh, there is a standard uh, installation of Odo and post installation if you logged in you will be having this, this screen right and uh, this screen uh, is primarily uh, for the discuss module so discuss module uh, we will be looking after uh, each and every module one by one and uh, if you would like to explore what are the modules uh, are there into Odo, uh, you can just stop left, you can click on this one and you can see the list of modules are available. And obviously when you install uh, this Odo, these modules need to be installed separately. Uh, but essentially you will have the discuss module by default, uh, contact module by default right and so let us first start with like what we are going to cover uh, into this series of screencast and uh, and then we will start with uh, the module discuss module right the first module so this screencast is primarily meant for the functional uses of uh, odo erp uh, what i meant by functional uses is like uh, the how an end user can use it for various use case right and uh, like uh, uh, and also some uh, bit of uh, the administration we will cover where like you know how to set up the permission structure how the documents should be available for multiple users uh, and all sort of workflow we will be covering into this uh, screencast. So uh, stay tuned for uh, this screencast, a series of uh, screencasts which we will be having more than around uh, 20 to 25 screencasts if I am not wrong. So this particular screen what, what you see is the discuss module and discuss module uh, is essentially meant for the discussion and when i say discussion so discussion always uh, will be happening within a team right so since this erp is meant for uh, the companies and when you say company then within the company there are multiple departments used to be there and multiple department will have uh, various individuals right so uh, for for example let's consider one department called human resource so human resource uh, will have uh, the hr manager hr executives uh, and the assistant uh, HR manager all sort of thing right so let's say if you consider the sales department so sales department will have the sales uh, manage sale, sales manager sales coordinator uh, and and various executive uh, right <coughs> similarly the other department also will have multiple uh, teams so let's say within a department if one person would like to communicate to other they can use this module or let's say one between two department if let's say people would like to communicate so they can use this module and this uh, module uh, can be also used for one-to-one -one communication what i meant by one-to-one -one communication is like uh, let's say uh, two person would like to communicate uh, without any inclusion of other so they can talk or let's say a management uh, uh, you know would like to communicate with each other for the progress of uh, weekly progress or monthly progress or yearly progress uh, so they can uh, chat here right and let's say uh, uh, you would like to set up a permission in such a way like where one department is communicating and in that department uh, 
you know it should not be visible to other so those uh, uh, provisions are available in this uh, module so left hand side you can see the channels so here you can see currently there are two channels are there called one is general the second one is projects and task right so if you would like to add a new channel so simply you can create a new channel here so let's say i am giving here the channel name add sales right so when you give a channel name sales and within this channel name if you go and click on this one uh, the gear sign you have uh, uh, multiple options available here and these options would be you would be able to customize uh, if you can click on edit option which you which you can see on the top left right and uh, you would be able to customize if you have a permission to customize right so uh, let's say if you belongs to uh, a department where you have the authorization of to create the multiple channels and edit and include the people so you can uh, you know obviously edit it so you can see the name of the channel here followed with the hash sign and then uh, send message by email so if you let's say click uh, this uh, if you uh, giving writing any message on this channel the members of this channel would get a notification through an email and obviously you can give some sort of uh, description for this channel which is specific to this channel and then uh, under the privacy section so here you have two options actually one is the privacy and the second one is the members so what are the members are there so let's first cover up the privacy section in the privacy section uh, the first option we have who can follow the groups activities so let's say if you are selecting everyone then this channel would be available uh, for everyone if you are saying like uh, no only the selected people should be available uh, within this group so you can have it uh, the selected people or let's say if you are saying like selected group of users so let's say within the uh, a user section if you have created a group and within that group you have added a certain number of users uh, so you can also uh, invite the users right and you have uh, the auto subscribe group features and auto subscribe department features so currently you can see there are only one users uh, you have here uh, and so you can then go to the members and you can just uh, add the people here from the list of the people right uh, so those people would be uh, included uh, in this channel moment you customize it and if you would like to just have the uh, particular uh, image for this channel you can click on this uh, small edit uh, pencil and you can just uh, upload the pictures uh, and you can have the custom pictures for this channel right then you can save it and then uh, you can write a message so if you just would like to write a message so you can say hello there so this message would be going within this channel right so if let's say other persons are also uh, uh, greetings you so they can also greet and like i covered just now if you would like to enable the users of this channel should get a email notification then you should uh, uh, enable the in email notification right uh, there are more provisions like on the right bottom you can see there are a lot of emoji you will have right so to express your feelings you can use it uh, these emo uh, emojis uh, just like uh, other uh, communication plat platform you have a lot of options here the second option just next to emoji are add an attachment so add an attachment is essentially if you would like to share some files within the group you can share uh, the files also here and you can send it right so this is how uh, the sales channel i mean this is how the channels are will are getting created and you can add the number of users into the channels 
and other important features what you have here is so let's say uh, if you would like to filter the message based on like who has mentioned or need action or if you'd like to have the custom filter you can have the you can have the custom filter as well right so these custom filters are uh, uh, you know i mean uh, relevant when multiple peoples are there and multiple people are using uh, the discuss module to communicate and if you would like to search certain specific message then you and these filters are getting used right so this is how uh, you can have the filter and then you can if you would like to make this particular uh, module favorite so you can uh, create a favorite so here uh, so let's say if you would like to search certain message about certain users so you can search uh, the users uh, here so there uh, this is very handy tools where uh, where the team and individual can coordinate and collaborate with each other uh, once again like i said uh, this module is very very effective if you are uh, creating the multiple channels uh, based on the department and you are including the members within that department and on regular basis uh, if you are using uh, this communication pl platform uh, to communicate great wonderful thank you so much once again for uh, watching this uh, screencast see you into the next module